Hello everyone, it's me Emma the Potato. <laughs> We're gonna do another IKEA stream. As you can see, um, maybe already from the title. I always expect that. I don't know if that's the case actually. <laughs> We're gonna make a secret basement since, well, everyone that watches this is gonna know. But people that will just see the building probably won't know that there is a basement under your house and I'm gonna show you how I usually yeah do this so um as you can see I built my typical a little house again as I usually do and as you can see there's already a portal set up just already a little hint of a portal hub video coming in the future but um I want to make sure that I have enough cool tips and tricks that I can show you uh, while making that so I'm holding it off a little bit longer just quickly gonna take this little beam away and I'll show you how I'm gonna get started first of all super important we have to make sure that the water level is low enough as you can see <laughs> we've got plenty plenty of space to work with since the water over here is um, is pretty low Oh, look how cute it is with all the lily pads. The cute little neckies. Oh, they're twins. <laughs> a good location for this is, um, well, I usually love to build in the meadows. I think quite a lot of people find this their favorite location. You know, it's, it's the meadows. <laughs> but meadows quite close to mountains is always a good idea since you're very sure that it's going to be higher up. And yeah. You will just have to find a little bit of a good location. There, there's also other options then. For example, I once made a base. I also wanted a little bit of a basement and I ended up being quite low with that base. So I kind of uh, ended up with a sm swimming pool in my house and I just went with it. I was actually pretty happy and thought, hey, this is a fun idea. Let's let's go. So there's many options and you know, maybe in the future I'll make a video on how to make a uh, swimming pool in your basement as well. <laughs> might be cool, might be a fun idea. So um, let's go. Let's get started since it's gonna be a little bit of cutting down. Gonna start with the stone. These smaller stones, you will notice that I always try to remove them since they can be a little bit annoying to remove later. They sink under the ground and yeah, they, they don't come back. <laughs> they don't come back up. <laughs> Crash down. Hi there. Who doesn't love an indoor swimming pool? Yeah, exactly. I am actually... I found it unfortunate that I think didn't think of it my last stream on Tuesday since um, I was actually at the base that had the swimming pool. I'm such a fool. Such a fool. Why didn't I show it? So what I'm going to start with is just flattening out a little bit of the area that I want to work in. I always love to do this. It gives you a very good idea of um, yeah, what you want to do. If you're someone that doesn't really like flattening the ground all that much, then you don't have to, but it's, it's something that I like to do to my builds. And there we go. Just flattening it out a little bit. Um, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a hill here. So I'm gonna work around that. These are also techniques that I use on my treasure hunts. So if you're um, if you're doing the treasure hunt and you didn't um, think of like, hey, maybe there is a secret basement, then maybe you should do it again because <laughs> there are. <laughs> of course, I put quite a lot of uh, secret basements in my um, in my treasure hunt builds. Okay, I'm gonna. Make sure that these lines are good. Since that's the most important thing, if we want to make a basement that is very seamless on the outside, this part right here, we can leave it be. We can make a base really on top of this part and make it look like it's just structure underneath here that's going to support it. Um, that's going to become more clear in the in a bit. Once we're there, I'm going to try and explain everything as easily as possible so anyone that watches this can follow okay let's go like this so people will even think like oh they raised the ground a little bit just so they can 
have everything aligned. <laughs> How is your Thursday going? It's going good. It's raining quite a lot and I love that, just the sound of the rain. And it's also a little bit hot still, so it's it's nice that it's cooling down as well. How is your day going? Gottman is here, McCheck. <laughs> and Paula as well. Hi everyone. I'm gonna fill my mug because I didn't do it yet. Ooh, I've got a special one today. We've got a real big one and it says... I like big cups and I cannot lie. The other brothers can't deny. Mm. Yeah, Sir Lancelot um, comes by quite often at his house. Most of all when I'm using that mug. Okay, we've got this plant out a little bit. Let's start cutting. Now, we want to make sure that we're not too close to the sides. So people will think, oh, there's stone here, it's fine. <laughs> So let's see, I think around here should be good. Ooh, just barely though. <laughs> let's cut, keep cutting. There we go. I really like to make spacious builds, so I'm gonna cut a little bit deeper. What server are you on? I am on Ikeaheim today. It's my um, my Ikeaheim project map. Since I do this in debug mode, I don't really want to do it on a server with other people. I don't want people to feel like I'm cheating. Because I just love building. I don't know why that sounds so... Um, I don't know, that sounded very American <laughs> in accent. But yeah, it doesn't help that I watch a lot of American series, of course. Yeah, you can see that I am quite close to the side there, but we can fix that as well. I'll show you. That might be good for an example. Just cutting away like a fool. I should stop. There we go. Um, keep on talking. <laughs> Servet. <laughs> it's um, Servet. Servet is a, a napkin here. <laughs> I'm just gonna heighten this ground here a little bit again so it, it looks less obvious. Because that's what we want to do. We make it we make it as little obvious as possible that there is a basement underneath here. If you want a basement and you already have a house and you want to make one underneath it, um, I've done it before as well. Um, it's just a little bit tricky. <laughs> you don't want your whole basement to fall down upon you. So th there is no easy way to solve that. It's best to start with your basement and then build on top of that. Very nice. Awesome. I hope you're excited for this since I'm not sure if many people actually make secret basements. Now is kind of the, the first part, which is just cutting everything out and afterwards we're just gonna make sure that the first layer is done so you would just think oh it's it's all flat here there, there's nothing underneath it would just look normal like a normal base nothing happening I'm not very good at making everything just flat <laughs> In case you're wondering, oh my god, there's people that are so good at it. Um, I know I know a couple of people that are very good at it, but um, sadly, I am not one of those people. Just gonna cut it away. And that's why you need to do this in a location that's a little bit higher up. As you can see, we're still, I think we're around here, so we still have a lot of room. To work with. I chose this look this location specifically because it's a little bit higher up so we don't have any water in our basements. It's going well this morning but one more day till the weekend. Sorry I didn't see that yet. Oh the weekend. Does anyone have any plans for this weekend? I know it's September again so it's maybe starting to, um, to get a little bit colder. Let's 
I was on the treasure hunt server and was raided with great wars and great war shamans. That means Aikthir and the Elder was done. Um, I think only Aikthir, if I am remembering it correctly. If it's the, the Great Dwarves and the Shaman, I think it's only Aikthir that has been done. It's a good point that you make. Um, I might need to take note of that so I tell people not to do the bosses. Just to make it more playable for everyone. Because the focus is of course the hunt. Yeah, hunting. Gonna flatten this out a little bit, but as you can see, we've got a little basement coming along along beautifully. There we go. Now I'm kind of stuck in here, but you know what? Let's let's eat a little bit and just jump up because it's quite easy. You just have to find a corner. And then in that corner you can kind of uh, like a like a worm, you can wiggle your way up. <laughs> Now, as you can see, we've got a little extra section here. I thought it might be nice to show you how I usually make my staircase as well, since we will have to find a place where we can hide a staircase. So let's um, add this little section right here. That's gonna allow us to have a little bit more room than, than just this space right here. Then we can put the staircase right there. That's always a good idea to think of when you're preparing your basement. You will need a staircase, usually. Unless you have... Ooh, unless you have a basement with a portal. Ooh, that's also quite nice, actually. So, there you go, another idea. <laughs> um, I love to do this with my treehouse builds. But, of course, that can also be used for this. Okay, we've got a bit more we can do. Gottman is here as well! Yes, just Ike Thier. I have never digged a basement before building the house. Oh, really? I don't I don't really dare to build anything um, of a basement underneath things that I already built. I did it once, but it kind of turned out like a maze, since so much of the structure above it rested on the support of those... yeah, of the, of the ground, so... <laughs> I didn't think that true, but it was a lot of fun to build as well. That's what I was thinking too. I was perfectly fine because I found everything, but newcomers might struggle. Yeah, indeed. I'll put a post about it in my Discord. I don't know if you saw, but I've been working a little bit on the Discord as well. It's all new and, and um, a little bit of searching for me, but... You can now get the hunter badge, so people will know if you're participating in the treasure hunt. Let's go. With the reset keys in the developer admin console, you can reset the map progress, so Aikthir is not set as killed anymore. Ooh, I'm just quickly gonna copy that and uh, paste that somewhere there in Google. Perfect. <laughs> Let's just enter it so I um, have it in my history. Perfect, thank you Gottman. Honestly, I just didn't want anything to happen to your builds, they're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, Gandalf is here, Gandalf the Blue. Hello, hello, how is your day going? Is everyone doing well? I hope so. It's almost weekend, so that's good. It's always nice. Okay, look at that. That's all, um, that's all done already beautiful basement yes awesome now let's get the real party started and that's um making the, the floor <laughs> we're just gonna make a floor and let's see how we're gonna get that started i used to work a lot with these stones you can also do it with wood of course i'll see if i can maybe collaborate both in it Let's see, let's see. First stone is the most important one. Hmm. Maybe there. And then we can... Oh, but you see a lot of this black just sticking out. That's a clear sign that something is underneath there. So we're gonna scooch a little bit to the side. 
So it's more like this. Yes, awesome. Mm, I remember a friend wanted to build a basement in Valheim but forgot about support. So I had to sweep in and save her and lecture her. <laughs> well, I can't imagine yeah, if they don't know what they got started with. I got the flu, been a rough few days, but feeling or getting better. I think I'll be back on my feet by tomorrow. I hope you feel a lot better or feel better soon. The flu is never nice, but maybe you, now that you've had it already, um, it's, it's gonna go easier on you, maybe? I'm not sure. That's that's probably not how it works, does it? Okay, let's place this like that. If you have issues with stone structures, try just placing them a little bit to the side or just scooching a little bit like I just did. Stone structures can be a little bit of a drag, but we'll find a way. Mm, maybe I'll even put it one closer. Let's see. Is it obvious? It is not. Perfect. Yay. And we can do these right next to it. So if it's difficult, you know what? It, it might get more difficult to place down those stones. You can always place one right next to it. So you can grab the snap point for this stone. There we go. The flu is no fun. Yeah, no, indeed. I mean, Corona was way worse, but <laughs> so this is nothing. Lots of uh, chicken soup and things like that. It's gonna help plenty. I love chicken soup. Nurse and Wells, hi, hi Emma, hi everyone. How are you doing? Hi all. Ooh, Jonathan, hi there. Could always flatten the ground a little. Yeah, indeed. Now, if you're gonna do it in a place like this, do uh, be sure that. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, gonna press shift so it kind of tries to find the middle ground and not the ground that you're standing on, in case you don't notice. Um, see the middle beam. If I press shift, you can see it changes. That's because if you don't press shift, it just tries to raise the ground or lower the ground to wherever you're standing. And if you press shift, it's gonna try and make it just smooth. So if you're with a cart and you need to go somewhere or make a road, Shift is gonna be your friend with um, the hoe. So I'm gonna press shift. Oh, that's not the right button. <laughs> there we go. So now it looks a little bit better already. Let's do it here as well. There we go. And now if I put some grass on top of it, that's also gonna be important at the end of the, the build as well. We've got to make sure that we put a lot of grass all around it, so you really don't notice that there's anything down there. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I, I just love making secret builds and just hideouts, things like that. Just gonna try and find a way to... I'm gonna do this. One more piece, two more piece. We're just gonna do this. There we go. That will allow me to place this one how I want it. And it seems to be quite perfectly aligned. Maybe a little bit more to the left, but it's it's good. It's good enough. Oh, I think that was a bird. I don't know why, but I thought it was one of those ghosts. Not that it would be out by the day. <laughs> Of course, good tip. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I love giving tips. Detailing is important. Yes, it is indeed. So let's finish this up. I think that's a good height. That's still a height where people would say like, oh, it's support for the base or just, yeah, just make sure that everything is, is nice and snug and secure and everything. And not that there is a secret basement underneath there. Yeah, that's gonna break. That's okay. That's fine. Just want to make sure that there is exactly enough. I always miscount that. Okay. I'm here, Cecilia. 
I'm streaming. <laughs> My cat is calling me. <laughs> Oh my god, you're completely wet! Oh my god, honey! <laughs> We've got one wet little cat. Say hi, Cecilia! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Hi up somewhere! <laughs> oh my god! She's completely wet! Paula says hi! Yeah! Yeah. Oh, she wants she wants cuddles. Yeah, she's completely wet. Now you want cuddles. Now you want cuddles. But I've got a build. Yeah, I've got a build. <laughs> she's like, no, give me attention. <laughs> no, 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 Cecilia. No, that's my cup cup. There you go. Good kitty cat. Yes. <laughs> Oh, she's so, so cute. Yeah, she's totally adorable. But she's she does not want any attention lately, unless I'm streaming, of course. That's that's the moment when you ask for attention. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Um, let's see. How am I gonna do this? Ooh, Tyron is also here. Hello, everyone. Nameless. Oh, oh my god, so many people are dropping in. Whew, oh my god, I'm getting warm from it as well. Just quickly gonna... Turn it up a little bit. That adorable cat, yes she is. Yeah, she's uh, doing her washy washy thing. You know, honey, if you do that right there, people will see you. No, she's not interested in that. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, my hair is in my face. There we go. All good again. Ready to do some more building. Ha <laughs> ha. You can question cat logic. Yeah, indeed. Cats just, they're, they're always right. And they always want your attention. Yeah, undivided attention. Very important detail. Um, Let's see. Maybe we should expand it a little bit over here so we have a, a little extra base there. I like that. Just mixing it up a little bit. I don't want a square base. Well... Sometimes I have square bases, but if I could do something else, that's always nice. Let's do like this. Quickly do the graphics low. So if you're building like this, um, it's gonna be a lot easier if you just like me put your graphics on low. You can see now like, oh yeah, there is the point where I need to snap it. Boop, and there we go. Now, let's see if I can maybe do it like this and starting from there, we can have it a little bit higher up. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Can make something cool with this. I'm just not completely sure what I'm gonna come up with. We'll find something. <laughs> we'll find something. Oh, it's a little bit close here, so I should maybe expand as well. Let's do it like this. Add another layer. So it's really not obvious that there is anything underneath right there. Boop. 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 No, that's the one. Good stone, yes, stay. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, how would you be able to see her if not during the streams? Yeah, indeed. I mean, that's the best time to see her or when you're half asleep and she needs attention. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, indeed. I hope you feel better really, really soon. And weekend is coming, so lots of rest in the weekend as well. Um, Let's see. Yeah, how is everyone doing? Because there's so many people dropping in as already. That's so, so awesome. It's going to be a busy Ikea Heim day today. So I hope you're ready. Yeah, ready for some Ikea Heim. Boop. By the way, if you're having difficulties with placing down these stones over an empty space like this, um, I've noticed that it's easier to place them instead of doing it like this. 
Well, these are gonna stay, of course, because they have a lot of support, but do it diagonally, like this. Boop. There. Has been working a lot, a lot better for me. So it doesn't all tumble down all the time. I can just fill this little space in right there. Okay, okay. Um, let's remove this one and add a little stone just like the other side. This can be the entrance. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I love building. It's crazy. I just keep on thinking of so many things that we <laughs> to do in here. Oh, I'm just glad I'm not alone in this. That's uh, that's the most fun, fun part of all. Fun fart? What? Ooh, viva la Mexico. Ooh, Mexican national, Mexican day, okay. Let's see, I've had worse, hey Cash, it's going great, been addicted to Age of Empires, definitely definitive edition, okay. Mexican nation for the win, okay. I always play on low, makes finding mushrooms so much easier, yeah indeed, just in, be in the beginning of a game or when you're starting with the base, it makes it so much easier. Just gonna see... How are we gonna do this little extra section that I made here? Maybe I just make it a little bit too difficult for myself, <laughs> adding s silly stuff like that. I'm, I'm just gonna leave that be and think about it. I can usually try to do it. So I encourage you as well, if you're at a a base build and you're not completely sure what you want to do or what your plan is just leave it be it's not going anywhere it's just staying there waiting for you until you're ready to do something with it let's i'm pressing shift again just so you know so these little sections on the side here look a little bit more natural Do 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 it comes naturally. Da, 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 da. Oh, where's the time when that song was new? Wah long time ago. I can't imagine people here saying like Well that that's not that long ago, Emma. You goof. Hmm, how am I gonna place this little extra piece? You know what? Let's just do it like this. Bliss. And then do this again. A little bit higher. Boop. Just a little bit higher again. Ooh, those hills here. Eesh. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, should I? <laughs> we'll fix it. It just takes a little bit longer than just normal, not hill locations. There we go. And now I put grass on top of it. And no one knew I did anything. Yay. <laughs> there we go. I'm very poor at building in Valheim. I just bowed around and fix up abandoned houses to sleep the night and then move on. Nomad lifestyle. Oh my god, I love that. That's so cool. I wish I could. I tried it in Ark, Survival Evolved. Um, I don't know if anyone here watches Neeps Gaming, but I also did something like that. They couldn't tame any flying creatures for a while and... They, they adapted this nomadic lifestyle and I absolutely love that. I need... Yes, need blinds or shades for the condo and they come with samples. Ooh, so they can make good decisions. I've never done this before, so I hope it goes well. Oh, so exciting! Ooh, I love that. that, that that's a little bit scary, but also so exciting. New things. 
Mm, I'm just gonna make a little extra piece there. Yes. Now, would anyone guess that there is anything underneath here? <laughs> I'm already gonna show you a little bit. That's the base that we built now. And underneath we have this giant basement for anyone that just hopped in. Boop. So we have a giant um, space underneath here. Let's flatten this out a little bit as well. Makes it look so much better. There we go. A little bit of a section right here for a staircase. If you're building this, I really encourage you to um, make sure that you have space for a staircase or if you don't have any space for a staircase use a portal <coughs> fixes it Taki, what do y'all think i'm not sure how subs work but i get them i hear a stream is supposed to offer something outside of regular things so what do you think about me sharing my high school portfolio for subs also crash down what your, your high school portfolio? Also, Emma is one of the best <laughs> to learn from. Oh wow, that sounds pretty cool, Paula. What kind of builds or shades are you thinking of getting? Ooh, that's a good question. Nomad lifestyle. Yeah, that must be so much fun living like a nomad. I also bring resources for people as no one likes uh, non teleportable things yeah indeed that's why i kind of opened that up on my patreon server at endgame since at that point it's just quality of life makes it so much more enjoyable mm. okay let's start building a little bit of a base on top so you have a, a little bit of a, um, a base sample right there as well that's my let's get a rest the buff that's why I built it. <laughs> Since I am in god mode and debug mode, I don't really get any damage. But having your rested buff is just good to have. It's it's good practice. So let's get it. You can see, made a cool little armor stand thingy. I put a frostner on the back so you have that beautiful cloud. Yeah, a little bit of fog around it. <laughs> We think alike. <laughs> exactly. So that's the fun part. The portals make it so much easier to go everywhere. I, I would love it if they have something like that in uh, in Ark as well. With the dinosaurs. Puck King Ugly. Hi. Nice Valheim stream. I thank you. Welcome to my Ikeaheim empire. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, show you the, li the little extra tricks that I haven't really seen that many videos on online. And I like relaxing a lot, so I thought let's just make it a relaxing stream together. Um, talking, getting to know each other and showing you how I do certain things. I love building things with little secrets or little tricks, things like that. Let's see what we can do right here. Since this will be the staircase, I might put already a little little door somewhere or just try to... No, no, no. I, I want to go into the details too fast. Let's not do that. We're first gonna focus on the base itself. <laughs> I love that duck. I secretly really want this, this dancing little duck on my streams and it's so cute and it just dances around. I, uh, I still need to figure out how I, how I need to do that though. <laughs> but there is more stuff coming. More stuff is on the way. Let's put some dark wood in there because we all love dark wood. I'm gonna put all of this around. Let's fill this up. So if there's someone new coming in, they don't really know like, oh, what is she doing? And then, oh, there is already a secret basement. What? <laughs> Not sure what they offer yet, but maybe something will just call to me. Ooh, yeah. 
I'm taking notes. It's very impressive. Uh, what I've seen so far just in the last stream. Oh, I'm glad you like it all so much. That, that's, that's so much fun for me as well since I take so much... I, I love doing this. It's so much fun for me and that you all like it as well. That's just... Yay, it's a win-win. <laughs> that makes me so, so happy. Okay, we've got a start. Now, I really love those dark wood beams. So let's just make this base just crazy with, with dark wood beams. Oh, I see the sun is like coming through a little bit. I have a little bit of a rainbow on me. Teeny tiny bit. Ooh, wait, it's raining and the sun shines. There must be a rainbow for reals somewhere. Yay! By the way, if anyone wonders, um, I absolutely love rainbows um, because of how it works as a natural phenomena. I, I have always loved how it works with the, the just, oh, what's the word in English? Um, but it's, it's like the, the pigments and, and how rainbows look through light. It's, oh, I, I just love it so, so much. So if you hear me talking about rainbows, <laughs> <laughs> That's why <laughs> I have a little bit of a maybe a slight obsession, but um, n nothing major. I I hope. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Oh, my Patreon. Yes, if you want to join the Patreon server, always welcome. We also have the treasure hunt server running at the moment and it's completely free. So if you want to join a little bit of a treasure hunt, you're, you're just, you know, what if you're a little bit of um, a, a dip from all the Valheim that you've been playing? You want to do something else? Come join us. It's completely free. There's a lot of super sweet people on there and it's a lot of fun. So. We hope to see you there. Just be friendly and courteous. That's the only thing I ask. And the other information is in the, on the server itself. I'll, um, I'll also post not to defeat any bosses since that's just gonna give you raids. No one likes the raids. Yeah, there is actually, is there someone that really likes the raids? The only use of them as in that they're useful is maybe in the beginning so you get a lot of gray dwarf eyes or um, metals at certain base locations since sometimes the the blobs or oozers they drop a little bit of iron but not not that much so <laughs> oh i'm missing things in chat i'm so sorry <laughs> PDP, Sabil, greetings and solutions. I have learned quite a bit in Valheim in terms of building. My favorite is making the stone floor tiles uh, countersink uh, to ground level. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting. And and do you have a, an example of that? Would you like to post that in my Discord? Since it's um, that sounds interesting. Light refraction. Yeah, indeed. Crash down. You get it. <laughs> Um, let's see, and all's good, Emma. Uh, you like rainbows and unicorns. I like black suits and gunfires. <laughs> That's indeed very American. <laughs> A flush uh, with the ground level. I wonder how that looks. Yeah, indeed. I like them. You like the raids? Okay, Gandalf, the blue, and Crash Down, they like the raids. As they never happen near me. Well good for you nameless also loves the raids especially the troll raids <laughs> you you can't be serious do you really love the the troll raids no i don't believe that <laughs> the troll raids are by far the worst the first one oh that's that i broke that yay i broke it hmm. that's that's a little bit low how how high are those doors eh. They're quite high. Boop. Boop. I love these doors. They're so beautiful. Since we're in debug mode anyways, I can place my base full of them. I think that's gonna be better. 
Yes, 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 yes. Boop. Boop. And one in the middle. Emma, because you are in creative mode, could you please find a flat space of land? Yeah, sure. Sure. We have quite a little bit of a uh, flat space. Let's let's go right here. Boop. Can flatten it out a little bit more. Oh yeah, let's quickly kill all the piggies that uh, were already having an eye on me, apparently. Let's flatten this out. Okay. Black forest. Place a wooden floor tile, then a small door down. Okay. Try clipping the stone tiles to the bottom of the door. Interesting. Place a wooden floor tile. Okay, okay, okay. The little door or the little door? This one has a lot of snap points, so I, I'll take that the one that you want try clipping the stone tile to the bottom of the door exciting exciting okay let's get a little bit lower Ooh. is um is that what it uh, is supposed to go like um gotta defeat the bosses i hate trolls okay <laughs> Yes, my Discord, come join us! Everything for the treasure hunt is on there as well. Click it in place. Okay, let's see. Clipped it. Is there now like different different heights maybe? Got quite a couple of them now. Nothing gets past my defenses anyways. Ooh, I like that. Very, very sure. That is a countersink. Okay. Interesting. And what, what do you make with it? Is there like a way now to make the rest of your base with it? Or should I not have removed that floor? <laughs> Let's see if we can get a maybe another snap point then. Ooh. This is all new to me. Interesting. It's very nice that they all have kind of a similar snap point. And it's quite low, that's very nice. Most of the time, you wouldn't be able to get that low of a snap point. Interesting. That would be the ground you walk on. Hmm. You staggered the bricks. Yeah, that's indeed interestingly low. Cool. Very nice. What do you use this kind of tactic for? And how you would would you want me to um, address you since you have PDP, maybe PDP or Sabil? No need for stairs. Oh yes, indeed. Oh, that's a good one. You don't need stairs, indeed. Can just walk on top of there. So it would it would be like an extra floor here so you can easily get into your house okay okay nice nice good to know Ooh, that's interesting i had never really thought about that before hmm interesting very nice thank you see i can learn as well <laughs> sable okay awesome a big pipe in <laughs> is that your thing do you, do you often say that nameless I've, I've seen you say that a couple of times already big pipe in uh, pumping pimping <laughs> 
There we go. Now, Gandalf, you were talking about your defenses. Do you also work with a moat then? Since I really like building with moats, since that's by far my favorite way to keep creatures out. But if there's on other ways to do it, I always love to, to know about those as well. Building a mode makes it possible to still see a lot of the, the things around you, so I like that a lot. But sometimes I see those giant walls. Almost like... What was um, the name again? Attack on Titans? Yeah, with those giant, giant walls. Good times. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, I love iron and dark wood. It looks so, so good together. And maybe we can, like, once in a while put a little beam in there as well. One, two. Ooh, one, two. One, two. One, two. There we go. Dividing up the space a little bit. We're gonna leave that be since that's gonna be the way to the secret basement. To the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. There. We're just gonna get started. With a little bit of this. This would be the very slow way to go down. Usually I like to do this with letters. Floop. All the way down. Because letters just are so, so much quicker. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? We can make this a little bit more beautiful, can't we? Yes, we can. I'm also gonna scooch it a little bit more to this side. Oh, my hammer broke. Boop. There we go. Always, that's the first line. Could also sink pole fences into the ground, so only the tops come out of the ground. Trolls can get over them. Oh, and can't destroy them. That's a good one. Does it take a lot of time to do it? I've known a lot of people just having to sing them and things like that. Can be quite a bit of work. Oh, Clara V, thank you so much for following. Ooh, we're getting quite close to the next 100 number. I think, what was it? 3 to 400? I try to not look too much at the numbers. I know that might sound a little bit weird. <laughs> but um, I've heard from, from a lot of streamers that streaming can be quite yeah it, it can be quite um intense as well so i always try to focus um on on the fun and not really the numbers of it all super super cool we're getting closer and closer to another drunken stream <laughs> <laughs> through the mountains yeah secret secret tunnel you can see the staircase just becoming smaller and smaller the more we go down <laughs> I always like that actually I'm not really sure if that's something that people don't like I, I actually really like that because it's I always wonder if people would think if they're going down that staircase like am I really going the right way is this how it's supposed to be and I'm like yeah yeah that's that's how it's supposed to be it's it's secrets <laughs> oh yeah actually we can maybe see if we can make the the floor or you know maybe that's not necessary here to make it as low as the ground since we're not walking outside 
It's very hard not to find uh, validation in the numbers. Exactly. Um, I try just not to look at them too much since the most important thing for me is just having fun with it. Um, and I do. I have a lot of fun with it right now. I absolutely love all the people that I meet and, and all the... Yeah, just... Oh my god, I can't express it enough how many sweet and kind and friendly people are in this community. It's absolutely crazy. So, yeah, it's it's something that I want to just keep on doing while focusing on the fun as much as possible. And as well, relaxation. Since life is stressful enough, we can all just relax down, just unwind a little bit together. And hopefully my goofiness helps with that. <laughs> I know I have quite a lot of goofiness, so <laughs> hopefully that works in my advantage. <laughs> Just use the 45 um, OG 26 degree beams and sink them in. Sink them in. Sink them in. Should be able to snap after you place the first. Ooh. Sorry, I, I saw that a little bit late. I'm not sure for what part anymore. Boop. So as you can see, easily distracted as well. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> I'm super, super easily distracted, but it's, it's something that I have made my peace with as well. <laughs> Streaming has made it a little bit better already trying to uh, concentrate on multiple things working with that um, oh I can fit even a big one yay we can fit a big one that's what she said <laughs> oh I did it again oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna add a channel points sound effect so you can that that's what she said with Michael's card just all the way <laughs> I don't know why I didn't add that yet since it's something that could be used quite a lot during my streams <laughs> I said be like am I just tune everything out and check your chat <laughs> last Friday I was streaming and just random oh snap there is people in my stream chatting oh my god <laughs> super excited yeah I, I totally get that feeling Ah, that's not the right step point. <laughs> Boop. Just gonna fill that one in there. This could be like your treasure room. That's what I love to do with basements. When I do it on streams or streams on servers with a lot of other people. For example, Kaisenheim is a server that I'm um, quite frequently playing on or in the past at least. What I love to do there is make a secret basement and make that my place where I keep uh, more valuable stuff. So in case someone comes by, which is completely fine, but it has happened that someone comes by with malicious intent, then they wouldn't be able to, um, to grab all my stuff, which is always a bonus. <laughs> always nice. We've got to be one step ahead of the grievers. We never know if someone's going to be a rotten apple in a bunch. So maybe this way you will um, kind of secure your base as well. Make it a little bit more protected. The, I mean, the, the hardest part is already done. Just digging the hole and making a solid foundation on top. And now the second hardest part is just making a secure entrance way so not people not many people know that it's there the fences and walls oh yeah okay well should be good <laughs> join us on discord is kaisenheim a play to play server Ooh, a play to play server what do you mean with play to play this is cool, going to have to rewatch this back. And I'm also gonna upload it on YouTube. That's the fun part about Ikeaheim. I thought it might change it up a little bit. I'm always gonna upload my Ikeaheim videos on YouTube, so they will definitely stay online for people to check out as well. 
Now we're gonna make this a little bit more beautiful. Gonna use these gorgeous beams. Now these stone wall stone walls, they're just an opportunity to build something even more beautiful with it. I I have Oh, oh my god, I wish I had more time to focus on it, but these are the perfect locations to make something with wood on top of it since the wood sticks out. So if you build something on top of it, just make a cross. Boop. It's, it sticks out a little bit, so you can just make whatever you want on top of the stone structures and it looks kind of cool. If you want them to stick out a little bit more, Use the stone, uh, the stone, use the doorway. The doorway um, gives you the opportunity to have three mm, different snap points, or two different snap points, three in total. So if I snap this to the door, you will be able to see one snap point, two snap point. Eee. Just gonna try. Let's see if I can just snap it the other way around. Does a little bit difficultly, but sometimes that's just how it is. If you're working with stone, it can be a little bit harder. But as you can see, this one is completely sticking out there. You know what? Let's make it a little bit lighter. Um, Todd. Five? No, that doesn't change much. Let's put some lights down then. Oh, the blue lights. I love the blue lights. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Since we're with quite a lot of people here, if you ever wondered how um, <laughs> I got a little obsessed. Perfect location. You're perfect. Come, come join us. We're all obsessed. <laughs> come join us. Become one of us. <laughs> I haven't played that one yet. Ooh. Yeah, you're always welcome. And what I was gonna show you, a very cool way to get um, a very white light in Valheim is it's, it's a little bit more tricky since the normal lights are always colored, but you can put one of each of the uh, iron torches together, the blue one. Got the green one, putting it right next to it. And now we've got the red one. Boop. And now we've got this very beautiful white light that really looks quite a lot different, as you can see. What you can do as well is just place two lights together to get a little bit of a different hue. This is more pink. And we can put with the blue one, we can put a green one together so it's a little bit more yellow. I've, I've not seen many people combine those lights together. So I thought, just I just keep on saying it so more people know, because that's the fun part. As long as I can keep on giving new ideas to people, I uh, that, that's what I love to do. <laughs> I've got two uh, servers. I've got a Patreon server and a treasure hunt. You can join that treasure hunt. Oh, that's... yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I might need to make this a little bit wider. Or just remove this. Mm. How am I gonna fix that? We're gonna find a way to fix that. That's the fun part. Finding solutions to the crazy ideas that we have as well. <laughs> so if that happens to you, you're trying to make something new, um, you're trying to put one of the ideas that you saw here in action, it's gonna happen that it's just a little bit different over at your server or where you're playing. And that's fine, that's a challenge. See it as a challenge, see it as something that you can try something new with. Maybe you will come up with a new idea. And if you can't come up with anything immediately, that's, that's fine. Rome wasn't built in one day. Just give yourself a little time and, and think about it. Just gonna put a little pillar and we're gonna turn it so it looks different, you know? Just a little bit different. <laughs> Can I still pass? No, I can't. Well, if I jump. Ooh, that might be like the little extra hint, like 
don't come down here, then I'm not gonna turn it. There we go. Can I pass now? Yes. <laughs> still not, still not very good. So I'll, I'll need to find another way. But as Paula says, if you really can find a way to make a beautiful staircase down, down to your basement, just use a portal. And leave the name of the portal to something that's not right. So if someone comes that isn't supposed to be able to go down there, they can't. <laughs> There's no way to get down there. So that's also a fun way to, to solve that problem. You know what? Let's put a portal right, right there. Can make a little secluded house and we'll put the other portal right there. So they might think there is a staircase that goes down. Oh yeah, that's a cool one. Let's remove this. Just gonna remove it. And it's gonna look like there is a staircase all the way down. But actually, there is not. Hey, that's, that's, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna close it off with stone right here. There we go. <laughs> No one would expect it. They would think, yeah, I found a secret. I found it. I have, um, I have total control over the situation. Ah, actually you don't, because this was a trap. Did you know that trap is the Dutch word for stairs? Isn't that a funny accident? <laughs> I haven't played on one yet. Ooh, so exciting. I still remember my first time on a community server. <laughs> a few of us are in Emma's Potatoville. And as a Patreon, you'll get a plot in the village. Yes, indeed. Cool, I'll look into it. You're always welcome to join us. If you want to have a look already, you're also welcome on the treasure hunt. You don't have to become a Patreon or anything. If you're on the Discord, you'll have all the information you need. Oh, look how beautiful the shadow of those dividers. Okay, so now we've got a portal. Let's put a little plaque right next to it. Say friend and you can enter. And my patrons will know what the answer is to that question. Because that's um, the same trick that I posted in my um, my treasure hunt. Shh, secrets. <laughs> Let's see. Also, in the Valheim channel, we love seeing Valheim designs. Oh, yes. Every design. If you're like, oh, no, I have so many pictures. I can't share them. Put them in there. Always welcome. It's also the Norwegian word for stairs. Awesome. <laughs> the more I see Emma build in creative mo mode, the more I want to try it as well. Try it. Just do it. Just do it. Don't let it hold you back. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to, um, to relax as well. You don't have to worry about uh, the, the resources or anything like that. There you go, just a wall. We're gonna put a little plaque down here. Whoops! <laughs> there we go. So people would think, no, not that there is anyone coming onto this server, but if this was online, people would think like, what, what just happened? Wait, what? <laughs> what did I do? And we're gonna put maybe a little passageway right here. I'm gonna try and make the opening just enough so I can pass through here. Good, good. Now, the people that have been following me for a while will know what I'm gonna do there. <laughs> The window designer is due 
any minute so i will look at the rest of this later love it already awesome take care paula have a great one talk to you soon we have to treasure hunt together again or just build a potato wheel yes she already has a plot so she can start building if she wants gonna put some more resources ready for her as well secret banner door yes <laughs> you're in the right place carla and no worries um clara ah different watch a few streams here and you'll see something be like wow my god i gotta have that <laughs> for my house yay I love that. Yay, makes me so excited. Just gonna make a little, this is gonna be a little cube, but it's fine. It's supposed to be a little cube. We're gonna put some of this on top of there. Gonna make it easier, just a little staircase. And now, gonna snap a beam on top and one on top of that one. Oh yeah that's gonna fall of course of course it is because I don't want it to stick out I'm gonna take a flag we don't want to snap it to this side because then you will have this little slitter on the side sticking out so we're gonna snap it like this and as you can see if I put it like this it's gonna stick out a little bit more if you want it to be more subtle I would recommend to do it this way but if you really want to make it look like a, a secret door I like to sink it into the wall like this and then we can remove these two and put some walls on top Let's get a bird's eye view. And there we go. A secret door to the real way to get down. They can still find this way, of course, but let's let's not make it any more difficult to get in there. Um, I'm also gonna have a little look here what I'm gonna do with this extra section. Can we pass through? No. Okay, then I'm gonna try and flatten this out a little bit. So we have a little bit more space here. Space, 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 boop. But collecting resources is half of the fun. It, it, it totally is. I completely agree with that. But as a as a builder, I also really love just building without a worry. Um, but as you say, I, I also really love just collecting all the resources with your friends and, and making it something. It's it's a lot of fun as well. Um, it's it's just yeah, there's layers to the game and there's different ways that you can play it and that's that's fine, that's good. Everyone that wants can um, kind of adapt the game into whatever they want to do with it. And that's what I like about those games as well. Mm. Should I do it a little bit like this? It's not gonna be like perfectly detailed and everything like that, but that's not the purpose of this video. Just to give you an idea of what the possibilities are. And there we go. A little extra section right here. Not really sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe we can put some storage. Yeah, let's put some storage. It has been a while since I've shown you how to make my, um, my favorite way to store things. Storage boxes. Oof, a little bit of ground there. I don't want that in my house. No dirt in my house. Boop. 
Boop. There we go. Mm, a little bit higher, maybe. And I'm gonna make this like a dedicated, uh, built-in, I don't know, closet system. Is that a word? Is that a thing? Maybe not. <laughs> You're right, um, Emma, how many patrons do we have right now? There is Yoda Blade, Paula, Norson, I believe, and me, and I think I'm missing someone. There's also Doc, um, Uncle Squirrel, but um, don't worry, Uncle, it's, uh, it's just uh, we're talking about Patreons. Um, but yeah, he is also one of the Patreons still. He hasn't been very active, but I know that he loves playing um, League of Legends. So, I, I mean, I don't want to force anyone to play a game that they, they don't really want to play. We'll see him when Mist Lens comes again. Let's do it like this. Mr. Emma is not a Patreon since he he's not really a gamer. He, he likes games as well, but he's just on an all other level than I am, <laughs> I would say. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this section. Maybe, maybe, you know what, let's just make one of the chests kind of singular. To, to, you know, to break it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and now... Let's see if I can snap these like this. Lower. Yes, maybe I should put it a little bit more to the back. Mm. Let's change that one. That was a good system. So I'm gonna put it... Uh, Maybe like this. And then we have that one. Just trying to snap it. There we go. I can remove all of this. I'm gonna put some lights up so we can see it a little bit better. And now I'm gonna finish the bottom here. I mean, I could spend more time on perfecting this, but it's just to give you an idea um, for storage. If you're like, oh, my storage always looks the same, I want to try something else. This might be a fun way to, um, to change it up a little bit. There's a lot of space, as you can see, that I haven't used now as well. Usually I try to use as much of the space available as possible. But this will make it a lot more easier to uh, put some name plaques on as well. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Can also put them in the ground. There's a video on YouTube that I made about that as well. Just putting all your chests in the ground makes it so much easier. Um, yeah, let's see if we can put a roof on top of this. Um... How much higher shall I make it? Higher. <laughs> Does he warzone it? Um, I was actually wondering if it's possible to make a dresser in this game with like two chests and some wooden walls, you know. Need to know. Ooh, a dresser. A dresser in what way? Um, you could, for example, put a couple of chests on top of each other one way to do it let's go down to the oh yeah that's <laughs> that's not the way to the basement Boop. through the portal let's see if I can show you a couple of the ideas on how I do chests and things like that yeah this looks a little bit weird <laughs> it's not centered Boop. 
But hey, now you know that if you use a door that you have different snap points. Always nice. I was thinking one where two chests are from are on the top of each other to where it looks like two drawers. I like that. Oh, we can make it again. I from Doctor Strange. <laughs> it wasn't centered. I I usually don't really mind it all that much, but even my cringe was real. Gonna remove that wall so we can put the chests a little bit inside the wall. Okay, I'm just gonna try something. I'm not really sure what you mean, nameless, but we can we can try and find a way to make something maybe kind of looking like a dresser. Just gonna put some chests on both sides. Now, if you want to make sure that your chests are aligned similarly, you can use the beams. Let's see if I can place them in such a way that you can check it very well. Mm, let's see. A little bit more to that side. There's a lot of ways how you can check it, but this is my preferred way. And now another staircase. Th this is really nitpicking, just so you know. <laughs> so as you can see, we now have this beam, and you can see how much the chest comes out of this beam. And that was actually pretty well guessed, so perfect. The wall is still straight. <laughs> so it wasn't really necessary to check that, but in other situations it might come in handy, you know? If you're like, I don't really mind if it's a little bit asymmetrical, you don't have to do this. It's just a way to make sure that it's symmetrical just for you or for people that you know like it more symmetrical we're gonna snap it like this and I'm pressing shift so it doesn't snap to anything mm, shall we place another one right next to it I'm gonna see if we still have enough space then oh yeah also what is the distance both of them just gonna scooch it as close as I can. Can I still place this? No, okay. Just gonna leave that be then. One of those. Gonna put another one. If you do it this way, on building your chests instead of from the ground to the top you will be able to stack them closer to each other since from the top down they can kind of sink into each other it's just a little bit of searching what the um, the maximum distance is is it gonna stay up i think so I'll need an extra thingy and just gonna place it just where it can yes that's the one so we can have a side with I don't know a couple of chests that's where you put your shoes or something like that <laughs> Now, I did demolish it. Uh, do watch out uh, that your chests have support, because if you accidentally demolish something in the meanwhile and it doesn't all have the, the right support, you might lose some of your things. <laughs> they, they might just break because they don't have the support they need. Good looking! Yay! 
I still need to demolish that one. Just barely sticking out. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're going lower, so it, it's gonna stick out more and more. Boop. I could redo this one so it sticks out a little bit more as well, so it's all the same. You're blue, that's good. That's a sign that you're somewhere connected to the wall behind. That's awesome. The lower one, I'm also gonna put a little height there. And this is really quickly done. Um, if I do this for real, <laughs> it would take a lot longer to fix all that. Um, let's see. Maybe just on one side. Ooh, I actually thought of something else. Instead of doing it like that. We're just gonna do it like this. We're gonna make them sink in. Put these ones as close as you can. Too bad there aren't any mirrors in um, in Felheim yet. Who knows what's coming? can maybe put a big one in there as well. We can put a bed underneath it. So many options. Just gonna fill this in already. You can see just the slope of the wall as you go down in the boxes as well, because that was the, the most that you could put inside the wall. You can see it's kind of the same slope. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're doing it in a similar place like this, do take account of that. Um, it's gonna slope a little bit. Actually makes it look even more like a closet. We could do the same on this side, so it's symmetrical. But I wasn't really sure what um, what nameless, what you were kind of looking for in a closet. But there's there's so many different designs that you can do like this. And you can still enter them as well. Always handy. Little closet design. And now we can start decorating it. You know, it's it's not even decorated yet. Let's see. Just just so it doesn't look like the, the chests are just floating there. On there. On top of there. Um, maybe that one. Do, 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 do. A small piece? Yes, a small piece. And just maybe another pillar over there. And I don't know what could fit very nicely in here is like a bed. Oh my god, it fits perfectly! Wow! That's just perfect. Just a couple of boxes around. Oh, I like that. Well, there you go. <laughs> Another way to make a closet. Since we already know how to make a secret basement now and a, um, a fake staircase to the basement. <laughs> Oh yeah, this this little piece here. Just gonna fill this in. No, can't I? Bliss. Bliss. Yes. Good enough. I like it. Yeah, that would be cool if I could just copy and paste that somewhere else. That looks really adorable. Maybe I should do a stream like that. Just a stream constantly making different designs of closets and, and ways to put your, your boxes and everything. <laughs> Can you please show the fake staircase? Oh yeah, sure. 
the the fake staircase is right here and it just it says whoops it's just um a wall since i noticed it's gonna be too too small it's it, we're not gonna have enough space and i thought you know what how am i gonna solve this maybe we just make a fake staircase you know I'm not the only one that's gonna run down that 10 times before I notice that that's the wrong way. <laughs> and I made it. The real way to get down into the basement is through the portal. So if you are on a community server or something like that, you will still have a little bit of privacy. You will have a spot that only you or your friends know how to get there. I haven't even built a, um, a roof yet. You know what, let's see if we can build a roof together. I'm not very good at it, so every practice counts. Idea staircase leads to a portal sticking a bit in the wall. Ooh. Ooh. As in sticking a bit into the wall, as in you can't really enter it. It is quite small here, so... You might not be able to place one down. I should have done this in the beginning then, before building everything else. Mm, twist and turn. Ooh, that is a cool idea though. Yeah, that, that's a cool idea as well. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Boop. <laughs> Yay, so excited. <laughs> As in you don't see the whole portal just but it ports when walking downstairs but might be hard to build now without plugins. That's that's indeed a good one. More like yeah, which I'll um I'll see if I can kind of make an example somewhere else. Mm. Let me think. Maybe we can try it over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's give that a try. We're gonna make it double. Like Team Rocket. Move. That's too high. Oh, as in you don't see the whole portal. Hmm. Well, I think I know what you mean, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it a go. Maybe we need a couple of thingies here as well. Well, it's not gonna be the, the most pretty build, but it's gonna be very um like trying to show you. All the different ways that you can do this. Why? There is like so much support. What is your problem? Those stone pieces, man, just... They always find a way to break on you. Um, squeezing through the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know. Me with my dirty jokes. Horrible. Mm hmm. And now, let's see if we can put a portal down. Infinite placement. Your mother is invalid placement. <laughs> I'm so good at that. 
Yeah, comebacks and everything. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And then we can hide the rest of it away. The whoops portal takes you right next to a sleeping domination. Oh my god, I love it! Yes. <laughs> And as your furniture, you can make blueprints out of builds. Ooh, with the mod plan builds. I would be happy to give you a tour of it. Ooh, yes. Ooh, awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, there's so many things that you could just copy and paste then. Oh, that would be so, so cool. The, the one underneath. Snap. Snap. Okay, it's not, it's not gonna snap. Let's try to find another way. Squinting your eyes helps. <laughs> it does wonders. Well, I um, obviously didn't place the portal in the middle. Because why would I? only notice it later gonna do that again because I really want it to to make it I really want to try and make it look invisible there we go this should be the middle but I can't make any promises Oh, that snapped immediately now. Yay. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh my god. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so awesome. We're gonna call it. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. It's perfect. Oh, that, you're not gonna be able to read it. Will we be able to walk through that if there's a thingy there? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Whee. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. Let's see if it works. Yes, it works! <laughs> oh my god, now we just have to place the portal somewhere. I'm already sad that I'm doing this locally. Maybe I should just put it online once I'm done. <laughs> once the Ikea Heim season is done, maybe this would be a fun uh, world to, to get started on for a new season of... Um, let's call it Potato Heim. I like it more than Emma Heim. <laughs> Potato time. Let's go downstairs. Oh my god. We, we will... Yeah, let's find a location for the portal. Okay, it's... That's... Yeah, that's quite busy here. Um, let's... Let's fix this up so it looks a little bit better. It's a little bit out of nature's law. I'm a little bit of a fixer-upper and we know what to do. We can fix this fixer-upper with a little bit of love. Do -do 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 -do. Is that gonna stay up? I think it is. Um, what about... Oh. That's not place where I wanted that and now fill in this piece there oh we can just make this look a little bit like a tunnel yeah secret tunnel I love secret tunnels usually through the mountains and two more right there Potato Heim, yeah! Idea, put a banner in front of the wall so you walk through a curtain. Ooh, yes! 
I like it. I like it. Oh yeah, that one's just three. Yes. I'll make sure that you have support since just the ground is not support enough apparently. We'll fix it. We'll fix it real good. Yum. And an extra one? No, that's not gonna work for you. Let's see. Come on. Snap. You know you want to snap. No. Yes. Yes. Well, that's that's one. <laughs> Clearly not really necessary, so let's just put it like this. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, let's have another look at the whoops portal. We can put a banner in front of it. Place a, <laughs> a portal on top of planes pillars. <gasps> a planes pillar! Death by death keto it is. Oh my god. Yes. Let's find um let's find a location. <laughs> oh my god, imagine doing that on a real server. And just someone that that doesn't tell you that it that they're going to do. Oh yes. Oh my god, it's so evil. It's so evil. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I can see some pillars. They're so high up that they're covered in snow. Lovely, that's perfect. Which one? Hmm, yeah, the middle one. Let's take the middle one. We can put a portal there and there as well, so people know that <laughs> there's other, <laughs> other locations like this with portals that lead all the way up here. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. You know what? I'm gonna give them at least a little bit of a foundation. So let's let's make a little bit of a, a something, that, kind of like a viewpoint or something. Um, something, something. Yeah, not too, not too big. Let's make a circle. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Fix it, Felix. <laughs> I love it. I have many much ideas of our next build project. Yeah, indeed. We're totally gonna make a super cool new treasure hunt. Oh my god. You know what? We, we should kind of get started with that since it might be cool to do it once a month. I mean, if I see how fast people get done with the treasure hunt right now, I have a feeling that once a month is even just maybe too long. Boop. And we're just gonna... Ooh, yeah, I love building something like this. Just gonna... Boop. Boop. I'm gonna show you how I um, make my observatory platforms when I do competition builds. I really love to find the location on which you can very easily see the build that I made. Um, and they're usually on these little round spaces, just, I don't know, quite high up usually, but not always. And there's just a portal on there and you can have a look at the build. And I love to make something like this. Oh my God, if we fall down here, <laughs> it's gotta be so creepy gonna tickle in our stomach or whatever it tickles for you <laughs> roller coaster feeling Ooh, beautiful sun in the middle kind of like that actually but it's not quite handy handy dandy mm. maybe I can put one of these floors I should have done that in the beginning I'm just gonna Make it all the way down. Boop. Mm. 
Was that the right snap point? I think so. No, it wasn't. Come on, snap away. Snap out of it! Ooh, with the, the plane's music. I rarely hear it since I am... Um, I don't often come in the planes. It's scary here! I don't like it! Everything wants to kill you! Everything! Really, everything! If the cloudberries could eat, they would eat human flesh. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's just put a portal right there. <laughs> Perfect! This looks sick. It does, right? It looks really nice. I love those kind of things and, and the, the turnips and things like that. You know, I could even make it look a little bit like a turnip. I'm gonna demolish that again since it's gonna be in the way. Let's make this... Um, <gasps> yeah, let's make it a cage! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if I ever do this on a real life server, people are gonna hate me so bad. So... Perfect, let's do it on a local server so it's not for real. <laughs> Make some puzzles. <laughs> yes. But then you know my thought process already, then uh, it might be too easy <laughs> for the next treasure hunt. Oh look, a sunflower. Yay. Mm, what way shall we do it? Hmm... Anyway, it's fine. But actually, it just just have to choose. That's the hardest part, choosing what direction you want to go in. So you really, yeah, you you can kind of get through these if you want, but it's it's not gonna be accidental. No, it's not. <laughs> And the top. Let's zoom all the way in. Because with those beams, it can look a little bit tricky. Oh my god! <laughs> this is gonna look awesome! I love it already. Little sun. Ooh, now it looks a little bit weird here, but there's no, there is no. If there wasn't any, it wouldn't look that weird. There we go. Now let's try and fall through this. Ooh, we can't. The only way to get out of here is through the portal again. <laughs> Too bad there isn't the one-way trip thing with uh, the portal without knowing it. <laughs> Um, let's see if I can get out of here. Boop. <laughs> well, there it is. I can make this look even more finished by putting some beams right underneath here. Um, let's see. Like this way. Just turned inwards. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Then it doesn't look like just a floating blob on top of a of a pillar. Well, that no one's gonna see that one. Uh, no, it's not the right one. Let's see. Um, that way, so this way. You gotta make sure that every beam is positioned the same way, otherwise it looks a little bit weird from some angles. Oop. Perfect. That looks better. Yay! <laughs> Oh my god, yay! <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> so if if someone comes to your base, 
and they um they go inside or they try to go to your to your private area they just end up there mm -hmm. <laughs> uh what did i miss um this looks sick uh here designs with woods uh, wood is amazing oh thank you so much yeah i really love making things just with wood since you might not believe it but i haven't really been playing in debug mode all that long um i just did it for the treasure hunts and i thought you know what this is fun let's just use it a little bit more so if you see me using just wood quite a lot that's the reason i've just been playing a lot longer just with the wooden structures now let's try and incorporate these weird things <laughs> in the build um yeah we're gonna we're gonna make a little bit of a maze in here let's see we're gonna make a maze just a little one just a teeny teeny tiny maze <laughs> I should read the whole chat when I read up, you know. Wood is not supposed to be curved out. Um, but somehow she does it. Yay! When you hear laughing, start running. <laughs> My evil laughter. <laughs> Do you build these kinds of platforms often? This is a thing which would... Uh, be done with a blueprint for example oh i i built them quite a lot and they're always a little bit different that's that's kind of the fun of it as well i don't know um sound like you're take talking about swamps um i'm not sure you can put all the blame on me emma it's fine <laughs> Mosquitoes can get in, but we can't get out. Well, they can they can still come back through the portal, you know. Th there are solutions. They're not stuck in there forever. We're gonna put some... Tumpkins. I don't know. T turnipkins. I don't know. They're not really pumpkins, but... They're so cute. Look at them. Just look how cute they are. Why do they take them out of the game? <laughs> They're adorable. One way trip place the portal where the player will fall down and can't reach the portal anymore or make the portal inside a stone wall so the player will automatically step outside when leaving the portal. No way back. <laughs> if you want to trap someone we should rename the portal treasure room. <laughs> Just make the portal drop off the person into the cage a stone cage well yeah but if they would kind of fall into the hole that we just made that would also be a way to do it let's see i'm not gonna finish this roof am i <laughs> but i'm gonna make a little maze uh, we're just gonna try if we can drop ourselves inside this without being able to get out again oh the, the stone is not really fully spawned in yet let's finish this i don't know why i can place it now but i'm not sure if the stone is fully snapped in it hmm. interesting and weird okay let's see oh perfect ah no it's breaking Wait, what? <laughs> the stone! Something happened to the stone and it all changed. <laughs> what did I do? Oops, yeah indeed. What? Did it, did it just change in height? The game does that. What? first time for me what so it should actually be in render distance so that doesn't happen or okay let's just distance and try and go back maybe that helps 
Nope. It's just floating there forever now. Aww. Our little platform. It's gone. It was so beautiful. <laughs> but maybe it shouldn't exist anyway, so... There you go, little platform. A little bit of support. <laughs> the reminiscence of what could have been a great um, joke. We could have pulled on people. <laughs> it reloads the environment and sometimes it changes it slightly. Aww. Yeah. Looks like the stone needle finally settled to its ground level. Well, that's okay. That's that's fine. Well, you know what? We'll just put a portal right there. <laughs> and um, we'll we'll find a way to incorporate maybe something in the next treasure hunt. Maybe. <laughs> you will already know we're with 18 people here. Um, Streamlab says that we're with 18 viewers. If you're gonna join on another treasure hunt the next season, you might want to look out for portals that you're not supposed to go through. Just giving a hint, cuz... I'm in god mode. Should I? No, I'm not gonna turn it off, cuz, I mean... I would have to find a way to get back there. Are we gonna do it? Are you ready? I thought that would work. You know what? That's a good one. I'll um I'll put a link on treasure hunt. That's a fun one. Could you maybe put it in the moderator's channel, nameless? So I won't forget. Okay, here we go. Are we ready to fall to our deaths? Yes, we are. I've never done something like this before. This is so exciting. Do we just jump out of there then? Oh my god, yes we do. <laughs> well, that works as well. Ooh. Ooh. Well. Boop. <laughs> but as you saw, 100 is the max fall damage, so no worries. Oh. That was my caps lock, but you don't see that. That's pretty cool. Stupid pillars sinking into the ground more. Our beautiful little bird's nest disappeared before our eyes. But that was a good one. You just kind of end up on that little slitter there. Ooh, I'm getting so many ideas. <laughs> sure thing, Potato Lord Emma. <laughs> Emma is developing a taste for portal preps. <laughs> that's not that's not good, is it? No, no, no. Let's let's focus on a maze. Let's make a maze together. It's a, it's a little something extra. Yeah. Um, let's do it like this. Yes. this like that so it's just around the corner so you don't really see it mm-hmm or we can do it like this so this is what I usually do when I make a maze in Valheim I just start off with the half walls and then I go all the way up now this this last part is not really gonna be a maze anymore <laughs> but it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get there look boop it's it's a, a teeny tiny bit tricky yeah we now know the way but if you don't know the way it's a lot harder <laughs> to the dark side. I can tell you, you can ask my childhood friends. I have always been part of the dark side because the dark side has 
Yes, cookies! <laughs> Next treasure uh, map will be like Squid Games. It's okay, I don't really like pushing people to dying a lot in Valheim since... You know, it has to stay fun. But um, I might add some special, special little things. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can make a roof. If that's still an option. <laughs> if I can still do that. Do -do 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 -do. So as you can see, I'm starting to diversify a little bit more on, on the roofs that I do. I'm, I'm still no expert, but I, I like to believe that I'm getting a little bit better at coming up with ideas for roofs. Just a smidgen. And it might help you to see someone try something like this out. Mm, this one. It's all about different layers. Yes. I'm just gonna put this there since they don't have a dark wood. One meter beam. I have a feeling they are gonna add that in the future, but not really sure why they didn't already. Roof. Oh. What did I do? What I do? What I do? Yeah, if it's not lining, you know you messed up somewhere. Let's go from the other side. That's good. Those beautiful top pieces. If you've never really used them before, um, it's it's nice to know that the, the top piece looks a little bit different than the um, than these ones, as you can see. If you snap it right against the other one, you can really see the difference. And it's also something different from the beam, as you can see. Just in case you, um, you hadn't really noticed these have a really nice curve, beautiful slope. Oh, and I'm gonna change the top ones to a smaller slope. So there's a little bit more diversity in the roof. Aha, that's where I messed up. There we go. That piece here will be a little bit different. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I love that so much about debug mode just flying around. We just all need to watch some Sims 4 builds. It will give us ideas for different roofs. Oh yeah, indeed. Maybe that's why I love building so much now. What I did when I was younger was play a lot of Sims. And maybe that's where I, where I get all my inspiration, or got all my inspiration from. A corner piece. Can I plus bliss? Okay, let's get a little bit more distance. A 
there. And now we're gonna fill in these beams. Ooh, what we can do as well is use one of these pieces to kind of open that up a little bit more as well. I should be able to. Just kind of open that up. And then we'll place another one of these on top of there. Maybe we can make it look like an open mouth or something. <laughs> Oh my god, many, many crazy ideas. Mm. Can I maybe put some of these right next to that? Ooh, oh yeah, that also kind of looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna remember that for another build. We're just gonna make it a little bit easier now, just fill this in like this. And this right there. That's the fun part. I'm also still a little bit learning together. <laughs> Sai Chen! Oh my god! Hi there! Xiaohusho! Thank you so much for rating! That's so sweet of you! Oh my god! Nameless, can you give them a quick little shout out? Yeah! Ready to crush yours! Wow, thank you so much! That's so sweet! <laughs> Awesome! Welcome, welcome! We just did um, another IKEA Heim build. I am finishing up with the roof and I'm kind of showing them how to make a maze as well. So I'm just quickly gonna finish this little section and the door is for later. That's, that's, that's a worry for another time. But as you can see, I just made um, a very small version of a maze like I did on, on one of my treasure hunts. Ah. Now I just need to make the walls a little bit higher so you don't see the whole pattern. And what we did today is um, make a secret basement, so I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I love IKEA boxes. <laughs> Who doesn't? They're so nice. I have quite a lot of them in the background. It's typical. Those super typical closets with those square boxes. So what we did here is we made a basement underneath all of this. You might see it from the tiles a little bit, but they're all green, so it's it's very, very subtle. And yeah, we were kind of looking over a couple of options on how to protect your base if you make a secret layer. Now I'm going to show you the, the normal way to go down is usually the staircase. So let's take the staircase. But oh, what is this? It is actually not the way to go down. Then then maybe it is through this way. Burp. <laughs> we we kind of did um we kind of they learned um, me something. They they, they taught me something new. <laughs> portals just on the verge of pillars so if you go through them you kind of fall to your death oh sliding sliding Burp. I actually wanted to make a cage but the pillar just positioned itself a little bit differently so the whole building kind of collapsed <laughs> so we're just trying to find ways to kind of make it a little bit of a trap house it was just coincidental it wasn't supposed to be like that <laughs> we've got some boxes and the actual way to the basement is through this thing and then you can go to the basement with a portal isn't that super cool <laughs> it's yeah I, I love doing things like that this and then we have the little basement here some closets that I made so yeah that's already a little bit of um, information on what I have been working on and how was oh yeah how was your stream I always I feel like such a goof forgetting to ask how was your stream what were you playing 
um, been playing, been building a wall and gathering materials just before I raided in. Ooh, that's also nice. Just relaxing, gathering resources. I should kind of finish up these walls, but it's not a necessity. The, the basement is the most important part, and I'll show you. Beep. The basement is just right under here. <laughs> there is... And this is where the staircase is. The portal. So let's get ready. Whee! All the way up again. That one's so smooth. Like like I have been doing this all my life. Or for way too many hours. <laughs> so that's just one of the, the many little builds that I did here. <laughs> Not much anymore. Um, let's see. I'm good, thanks. I'm happy I defeated Bomas yesterday. I hope you are doing well. Or doing great. I'm doing great, yes. How are you doing, Nameless? Are you doing great as well? <laughs> Nameless sharing the Discord. Yeah, if you want to join on the treasure hunt, you're always welcome. Everyone is. It's um, it's for free. It's It's... Yeah, it's just something that I love to build and you will have a lot more mazes and little things like this incorporated in the in the game, but no no death traps yet. I just got thought about that today. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a that's a whole new area for me. But hey, would you say if you saw this house that there is a giant basement underneath it? Maybe here, but that's just the storage of um of some boxes i can just remove that if that looks weird I, I wouldn't really think that there is a basement underneath there just looks like a house with one level <laughs> when playing valheim also i have a long wall around my place and within there everything i need tomorrow i will start on a dock and also material gathering again. Yeah, I know that feeling. All in a chill way. Oh, very nice. Awesome. That's why I kind of got to the point where I made a Great Dwarf um, farm at one point. Because I just kept on building things. Just at one point in the game, you just need... You, you want to make a giant base and it's easier, so... <laughs> Yay, we got a follower! <laughs> Cyprus Plays Gaming, thank you so much for following! Oh, and thank you! Shahusho, thank you so much for following as well. You're all so sweet and kind. Yay! <laughs> yeah, also, everyone here, show um, Shahusho lots of love. Thank you so much for raiding. Really, really appreciate it for bringing all your friends and your community over to this place. Really, really nice. You know what? And I'm sh I'm gonna show you an extra little, an extra little treat. Let's go to the the main place where I have a couple of portals set up. Hmm. Not a dungeon, but definitely a hidden room. <laughs> yeah. A few more followers, and Emma will perform a drunk stream oh we're almost there <laughs> if you think she's giggling a lot now <laughs> yeah and there's no stopping it <laughs> i will never stop giggling bam there they are um let's see that's the tree house that, that's fun but not really as impressive as the draugr bar what? A Draugr bar? What is she saying? <laughs> yep. Sorry, I bumped into your little plant. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Well, the last time I was drunk or did a drunken stream, I kind of made um, the first Draugr towers and afterwards a Draugr bar can see these are our um yeah <laughs> they like the tough love yeah 
Well, they, they shouldn't be spawning on there, but uh, I made a mistake of killing them accidentally, so... Um, in, in the last video, or not the last one, but the one before that, I showed how you can guide them to their individual spots. It's, it's actually really easy to do, you just need to kill all the archers, and then you can guide the draugers with those half walls, because they can't attack it at all. Smack! You can see they're attacking me, but not the wall. The wall doesn't take any damage, so they're stuck there. And we made a toilet. Yay. <laughs> Those draugers are just stuck in there now. They're in the toilet. There's no going out anymore. And then we've also got <laughs> some love from Belgium uh, to Bel from the Netherlands to Belgium. I'm just falling over my words like um, no tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. <laughs> Yay. I can remember stream Emma was drinking and she was so cute. Ah, I love being cute. Yay. <laughs> There we go, the 24-7 Draugr bar with um, drinks in the middle. That's not touching the ground because otherwise they can hit it. So that was the whole, you know, experience. Ah! Well, I'm in god mode, it's fine. They're really so jumpy. Come on, you guys, be calm. We're, we have guests. My guests, it's all good. They can't hit you. It's um it's all it's all gonna be good. <laughs> That's like getting drunk and just casually robbing a bank <laughs> in GTA online. This is the best spot Draugr beetles serving drinks with axes. Yeah indeed, they they can make cocktails and everything. But the elites only have one arm, as you can see, they 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 have one arm, so they must be shaking like this. Yeah, shake it. <laughs> Yeah, this, this was just one of the li little goofy things that I wanted to add first, since, I mean, to be honest, it's so un so incredibly cool. Oh, you didn't even hit me! That's because I'm so small! Ah! <laughs> oh, I have maybe a little bit too much fun with this. Most of all, the toilet. Just, that was such a good thing to make with the little spawner. And yeah, that's that's what I've been doing lately. Just building wacky ideas and putting them online. Because this is going on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, awesome. Hi, I'm Emma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so smooth, you can see that. Mm-hmm. Potato Heim indeed. <laughs> I'll, I'll just have a quick look at the, the tree houses since the, the tree village is gonna be such a cool idea. Um, I need to go the other way. So this is one of the tree houses that I made on top of an oak tree. Whee! <laughs> you can only get in there through this portal. You can make like little extra houses on top of there. But I also made something cool in the forest. Right here. I didn't finish anything at all, it's just to give ideas, but just everything is connected through the trees. You can even make a little marketplace and anything. Different houses, different sections. Having beautiful trees in your house, so you have a lot of support. Look at that support. Oh, that's so amazing. <laughs> So yeah, that, that's a little bit of um, what I have been working on lately. It's actually kind of fun that I can showcase the other builds at the end of um, my, my IKEA Heim videos now, since yeah, it's gonna be a whole collection of things in the future. Boop! An extra house there. So I know where it is. Let's fly back. I really enjoy finding little weird things in the game and trying to use them to my advantage and uh, yeah I, th I think we're there are there any questions you know just throw them out there <laughs> oh my god this is genius yeah i'm so glad you like it <laughs> and hi welcome 
<laughs> I said it before, but still she figures this out on the drunken stream. There's still bananas to me. Yeah, because I thought, you know what? What actually happened was I made a, a chest or just kind of a box around a Draugr spawner. And I think the Draugrs that were connected to it, I kept them somewhere in a little cube. But I think they got just too far away. So when I was doing my drunken stream, they kind of spawned on top of there again. But since they're on a different ground height, they didn't really see me. So I was drunk and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put some half walls around it and it's going to be fine. And it was. It just fixed the problem. And yeah, that kind of started a whole idea of Draugr bars and using the Draugrs as a decoration in my house. It's been so much fun to work with them and, and just coming up with those ideas and pretty soon we're gonna do a portal hub version of Ikea Heim since the portals here are gonna collect um basement I think the portal was that's the last one that we've been doing yeah that was correct awesome <laughs> let's go have another look nameless yeah <laughs> I've had a lot of trouble keeping up with chat lately, but if you ever notice that I'm not reading anything that you send, I'm not hating on you or anything, it's just, it's it's quite a lot. Don't underestimate streaming. <laughs> I'm learning a lot though, it, I'm getting better at it and it's a lot of fun to do, so um, just so you know, I don't, I don't hate you or anything. <laughs> Rainy day, I love those. Oh yeah, we have a lot of rain here too, but I mean, it's good. We've had very little rain here in Belgium and I assume the Netherlands and just just in general, a lot of Europe had very little rain. Oh, those are like on totally different heights. <laughs> okay, not a problem, not a worry anymore. So yeah. A little basement now if you want to see this from the beginning I'm gonna post this on YouTube later so you also can make a beautiful basement to your house and all the different ways that you can you know in case you're on the on the server with a lot of people and you find a way to you want to make a um, kind of a secure place for yourself you will find a lot of ways to keep your base secure as well like the this portal that leads you to um, to the planes. <laughs> Look how nicely we incorporated that. I had never done that before. I saw a lot of people do it. So that's pretty nice. I like it. And yeah, a little showcase of how I make my mazes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Always ready to join on the treasure hunt. I, I find it a little bit like, ah, oh, too bad. I, I kind of can't amuse you a little bit longer because I was also kind of rounding about my stream um but what i can do is give you a nice view for the song that i'm gonna sing how about that i'm gonna fix you a very very good view yes 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 i uh, this is my favorite build so i might just go there every time that i'm gonna do a song now <laughs> how it's built I kind of want to give it a try oh you totally should there's so many cool things you can do with it. it it's not that hard just watch the YouTube video that I did it's gonna be fine and it's gonna give you a lot of ideas as well I have this thing now where Chad is beef <laughs> because I constantly have to catch up on Chad uh... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, I am the potato lord, by the way. <laughs> I know the troubles, yeah. Let's put our hands in the center and form Voltron. <laughs> Nameless you with Voltron. <laughs> good morning, good morning, Blade Spears. Awesome, how is your day going? Did you have a good sleep? Respect, how is everyone? Someone say potato? <laughs> Yes, we did. Since that's my name. I, I changed my name to Potato Lord in, in Felheim. This is Potato Lord. She is female. Look, she has breasts. 
beautiful, beautiful uh, breasts. But she also has a beard. Yeah, so cool. Oh, look at those arm muscles. Wow, look at those muscles. Ooh, I wish I was that strong. Yeah. Well, there you go. One of the builds that I'm, you know, most proud of. Um, let's do dev co comments and debug mode. And God, otherwise I fall to my death. Oh, that's not gonna work. Boop. There we go. Now I can show it a little bit better and fly. Uh, typing as fast as I can. And Todd, Todd, Todd 7. Todd 7 is beautiful. The, it's already at Todd 7. Perfect. The giant farm. The beautiful houses. Ah, oh, I love this place. I could just stay here forever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I come before you in disgrace. Oh, well, welcome. <laughs> Good to have you here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm not Emma, I'm Potato Lord. <laughs> From Toph, I know, I know. That's that's exactly what I thought as well. Um, you have Toph at the ending of Avatar and she's like, I'm not Toph, I'm Melon Lord. Absolutely love that scene, just amazing. <laughs> I'm in disgrace. What are you? No, don't say that about yourself. Come join us. Come join the treasure hunt. Just come on our discord There you have a treasure hunt. You'll have all the information and it's vanilla Just join on there. It's fun. It's it's a lot of fun. You can use the lights on mod Just like right here. We didn't have the lights on mod when this was a community server And I can tell you it was pretty dang annoying putting all those torches on <laughs> so Super happy with the lights on mod. That's like that, that. That's just one thing that's so quality of life that I would just give it to everyone that's on my Patreon. Just yes, yes, you can use the lights on mod. It's completely fine. This grace is that a place? I'm American, so don't know my places in Belgium. Oh, I'm not sure if that's a place in Belgium. Hmm. <laughs> What mods are you using? Right now I'm not using any mods. Um, I'm just using debug mode on uh, on Valheim. So a little bit of... Um, yes, some might say it's cheating, but I'm not doing this to gain any advantage or anything. I'm just doing this because I love building. Yay! <laughs> Ah, yes, before the stream ends, if anyone wants to continue this Valheim talk or share Valheim designs, then consider joining the Potato Lords Discord. Yes. So as Bladespear says, treasure hunt, yeah. If you want to join the treasure hunt, everyone is welcome. I just enjoy it so much to make one. Um, so I'd love to see more people join in. It really makes me super happy. And yeah, just be courteous to each other, be respectful. That's the only thing that I really want to... Um, to say you know yeah we don't want to make more rules just because someone might make mistake or anything or rotten apples you know the you know the stuff so don't make me make don't <laughs> don't make me make more rules yeah that's that's right <laughs> so there you go thanks for the stream you're welcome now i am not finished yet i always end my streams with a song so since we got raided as well, I mean, I can kind of show you my uh, my musical talents. <laughs> I'm going to try something a little bit differently today. I usually try and read lyrics while I'm doing my song. I'm just going to try and do it by heart today. And I'm going to see if that makes it any different for you. So let me know what you think of it. Also, by joining the Potato Lords Discord, you can access her treasure hunt in Felheim. More details in Discord. Yes. That's that's a lot easier to communicate. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Let's get into the mood for a song. Today I'm gonna sing um, "Once Upon a December" 
from Anastasia. Um, I don't know if many people know that movie. It's absolutely beautiful. So be sure to check that out. Okay, here we go. Yes. Dancing bears, painted wings, things I almost remember. And a song someone sings once upon a December. Someone holds me safe and warm. Horses prance through a silver storm. Figures dancing gracefully across my memories. All the way long ago, glowing dim as an ember. Things my heart used to know, things it yearns to remember. And the song someone sings once upon a December. Oh my god! <laughs> How I got doing it without lyrics is so much scarier. <laughs> ah, does that make any sense? I don't know why. <laughs> oh, my sweet Lord. Thank you all so much for staying here with me, even during these songs and everything. It's kind of a process for me. I never dared to do this uh, when I started this out. So I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, you know, if you're offline, it always goes a little bit different than when I'm doing it online. It's, yeah, it's just an amazing experience. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm so excited that everyone is so excited about it as well. Yay! <laughs> I am Metalhead. You know what? I love Fallout Boy. Maybe I should sing one of those songs as well once. <laughs> Oh yay, girl music contract. When I was a little girl, I wanted to become a um a Disney princess singer to say it like that, but I, I still have to um practice a lot more. It has been super busy in um in the background of everything. So I am um, I'm going to up my my um vocal exercises a little bit more in the coming weeks cuz it, it makes me more confident as well, and it's gonna make it even better. Oh, I'm so happy to see all the reactions. Nice voice, mug check. Thank you so much, Sai Chen. It's the big mug today. Look, I like big cups, and I cannot lie. The other brothers can't deny. <laughs> Part still, always so great to hear you sing. Oh, thank you so much. My son just stopped everything to come over and listen. Oh my god. You're all so, so sweet. Thank you all so much. You're so kind. Absolutely love all of you for all the support, for all the love, for just being here and watching me as well. We're gonna rate someone right now so we can also show someone else a lot of love. So let's see. Mm. Oh, she is new. I think I don't think I've rated her before. <gasps> Glenn, you got here just in time. <laughs> We are just about to rate someone. She looks super sweet. Oh, and she's smiling a lot. Let's rate Luna this Lunatic Slayer. Lunatic Slayer. Yeah, we can do this. So everyone, if you want to more know about me, uh, you can always follow me. Um, I also have a YouTube and you can join me on Discord. Uh, you're welcome everywhere and on my Discord, you can also join for the treasure hunt. I'm going to set up a little raid. Since we're gonna raid lunatic, Lu Luna lunatic's lair. That's it. That's <laughs> that's a little bit different than just lunatic. <laughs> lunatic's lair. Funny wordplay though. Let's go over to her. Thank you again so much for the raid earlier as well. Super super sweet. Absolutely amazing. Makes me so happy. My cheeks are hurting from all the smiling. That's always a good sign that it was an amazing stream. <laughs> 
Solana, thank you so much for the follow as well. I will hope to see many of you people on my treasure hunt as well and on my Discord. So have a lovely evening, day, morning, wherever you are. And hopefully you will have an amazing weekend as well. I'll see you over at Lunatic's Lair. And if you're watching this on YouTube, awesome, super awesome. Bye bye. Mwah, have a great one, everyone. <laughs>